Hi, my name is Mark Bowen and I'm from Idols. This is Joseph Talbot. He uh, is a singer in Idols. And I, I don't do anything with guitars. It doesn't. I got, don't think I'm supposed to be in this, mate. He he probably won't understand anything we're about to talk about, but uh, let's begin anyway. Um, I've been using high watts for well over a year now, maybe a year and a half. Uh, I recently uh, bumped up to uh, rig. I used to use the custom 50, and now I use two custom 100 amps. Uh, in part because we're playing bigger stages and we've been afforded the ability to get a lot louder. He likes that. Singers love it when guitarists are louder. I oh, hate yeah. um, it. But it does sound good. Yeah. The the the, the main reason that I went I went to the two amp uh, situation was I wanted to kind of work all, along the lines of uh, having your kind of like bass bass tones that are really like sort of low and driving and there but also I wanted to keep the harsh tones in as well so I've got got it set up so I've got the uh, one of the hundreds going into the 4x12 is kind of like set up kind of spanky kind of like uh, uh, but a little bit drivey and then it's kind of slightly more trebly in mid and then the other one is just everything else is rolled off and it's just the bass up full so it's got real warmth and wooliness that's there and then our sound engineer can kind of twig between the two to get a great sound. One of, one of the things that um, really kind of piqued my interest in these hundreds is that the headroom is insane. Like there, you can get so much more out of, I use a lot of pedals, I use a lot of fuzzes, I use a lot of overdrives, um, and I use a lot of like very strange distortions and modulations. And having that headroom means that you can, you can hear things from those pedals that you couldn't hear on another amp because it starts to clip, it starts to hit its own overdrive, whereas the, the ability of the DR-103 to stay completely clean and be insanely loud, and then you chuck distortion after distortion after distortion after distortion, filters, all sorts of stuff, and it's still handling it, it's not crapping out. You, there, there are overtones that you can hear in there that you just it just sounds richer, it sounds fuller, and it sounds, it definitely sounds more interesting. Like, and it, it's affected our, it's affected our writing a lot on the, on the third album. We, we kind of, on the last couple of tours that we've been on, we've been able to write when we're doing sound check. And that, uh, having that huge, huge sound affects the way that you play as well. So you, you basically, you've got the ability to sound like you're blowing something up. So you do it, and then that that is definitely transcended in uh, itself into our into our writing. It makes a big difference. So yeah, I would I would, I, I, I now I understand why ACDC have tons of stacks. I understand why the Who have tons of stacks. It's it's the way forward. Like it's going to make our singer deaf, but like you know, fuck him. You can get earplugs and stuff. <laughs> The breadth of the, the high watt rig has also affected our writing because um, we've given it more space. The sound of the guitar is, is we've paid attention more to the tone of it because it's 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 fuller, which yeah. means we've actually given the songs more space to hear the tone. Yeah. Um, instead of drowning it out, and we've, we've actually enjoyed. It's been more of a guitar-driven album more than the other two. It's it was written around the concept of guitar tone as uh, almost a weapon 
to carry the song and push, push, push the violence of what we do, which is cool. Something we've not done before. So. I, yeah, that's that, that's the thing as well. It's like my approach to tone. If such a like, I don't really like tone. I just like the the, the word sound because like tone has a fucking. You, see, you those, sound like a wanker. Those dickhead guys. Yeah, I mean, I said it? tone, but that's because I'm, I'm not a guitarist, so I can nah. say it. I like, I like the, I, it, Most guitarists are wankers. But it's, it's, it's affected my sound. Like, like, before when we were writing stuff, because we only had, like, crap amps, um, everything's a lot more brittle and a lot icier and a lot... Um, Horrible. Waspy. Waspy sounds in. And the reason for that, I think, is because that's all you can get out of those and we want to we wanted to create a, a violent tone and that's the only violent tone we could have gotten out of those amps whereas now with the with the high watts there's this doom boom that you can create like and you you can you can go into those lower octaves as well like before i i i, I used to try like using a sub octave and it just would sound like crap whereas with the high watt the sub out a sub octave has an effect. It sounds it sounds different from the bass. It sounds it, it's yeah, it, it's its own distinct thing. And I think that's just because of the ability of the amp to handle that. Yeah, yeah. Ninety-five percent of guitarists are wankers. Absolutely. I thought about that. I was like, there's that five percent that I, I I could get on with. I think like me and Albert Hammond Jr. would get on. I think we'd like, we'd hang out, we'd talk about sandwiches and that, and it wouldn't be a guitar thing. Um, um, Who else would you get on with? Um, I'll tell you what, Oliver Southgate, Heavy Long, so I really like him. Yeah, he's good. Um, oh, guitarist I already know. Who do I know? Who do you know? I like. Who does no, Joe know? I think, um, we're on a Black Eyes Coastal Fever. Oh, that's a, that was a band great. now. Yeah, and a nice lovely. bunch of lads. Well, I, I endorse their music and, them, and their people. Yeah, they yeah. use good amps too. And their art. Uh, who else? Is that Big Moon? Like behind this fence. I swear that's Big Moon now. Are they playing today? I imagine they are, yeah. I think they're after you guys, aren't they? There you go. Big Moon. Uh, another good band, sick another, band. Another good band, good yeah. band. We get on better now that high watts in our lives. <laughs>